Residents living in the one remaining block of flats on a North London estate undergoing redevelopment say they are being left to rot with pest infestations and security issues. These are people who are in one old block where all around them redevelopment and regeneration is taking place. So, so other Families people living there are coping with cockroaches, damp, mould and flooding while drug addicts inject heroin on the stairs. Barnet Homes told the programme it was extremely sorry for the standard of some homes on Marsh Drive. When I was here last time, you were all facing being stuck here until 2022 and the block was going to be knocked down. And now you're going to be moved out later this year. What changed then? But since it went onto the news last time, we got a letter the week after saying mm. everyone has to move out now within 10 months. Mm. Now that we've been outed on BBC News and people realise yeah. how bad we've left you and it's shamed us. Now we're going to try and now we're going to accept you as human beings and find you somewhere yeah. to live. Depends what category you fit in, whether they're going to house you, not house you, give you back onto a regeneration estate which is just as bad as the one that we live in at the moment. I've waited 15 years to be told I'm going to be moved, but now getting that phone call to say, well, getting the letter to say you're moving in 10 months, the anxiety, I've never suffered with it before, mm. but now I, I understand how anxiety works mm. because I'm petrified of not knowing where I'm going to go. Can my kids still go to college and school? Mm. Can I still go to work? I don't know. Aside from the vermin and the mould and all those sort of mm -hmm. harsh living conditions, we've now got to think about living in, a, in what's possibly a death trap. If there was a gas explosion from the server that took place, it says that um, the building could collapse. Barnet Council have been instructing um, gas inspectors to come in and have a look at our gas. She had a visit from one of them and when they was looking at it they realised that there was actually a gas leak. Um, my neighbour had been reporting it for the last six years. Um, apparently people have come round and checked it and said it's been fine but she keeps smelling the smell of gas. The gas was here and I've been told that I was in danger the whole the whole building would have been collapsed. And what, why would the building have collapsed? What, what because the gas was really showing that it was really leaking a lot and I was smoking closer to it, which it could have catched fire quickly, easily. Which is really scary, actually. Who's to blame then for putting tenants in danger? You know, some people might say that she shouldn't have been smoking in the kitchen if it's a gas leak. I don't know. I, th I think these these safety measures should have been done a long time ago. We shouldn't even be living like this. We shouldn't be living in this way. And every time I've said to them, I'm scared, I'm having nightmares, you know, I worry. It's not because it's it does, not my flat. I can try and protect my flat as much as I can. But, you know, other people, they might not even be there and they might be having a gas explosion. And the same thing can happen to all of us. We're not supposed to have gas. Barnet knew. Barnet have known. And if you've got somebody saying, oh, we've had a gas leak for six years, and that, <laughs> I, can't, I can't even explain how, how scary that is. I can't even explain. And you then just be thankful that your kids and everybody woke up the next day. Has anything improved? The communication, I would say. We're now inundated with letters from Barnet Homes. You know, we're still living here. We still have to live with the gas. We still have to live here with the pest, the cockroaches, the rats, the mice, mould. Yeah, everything. being broken into. When did these appear then? Um, they've been there about, I'd say about three weeks. These 
are bending because the building is because it's no structure safe. If you're bothered, come round to Glass Drive and actually speak to the residents or go to speak to people in Grand Park. You would understand what they yeah, know. Right. You cannot turn around right. and say to me, Power to you, sister. Power to you. Having been elected locally for 18 years, I've certainly have been around Marsh Drive and Graham Park Estate more, more ladies, than you have. Ladies. More than you building is technically structurally not safe. And that's why everybody's got to move that fast drive. Yeah, yeah. I'm beyond pissed living like this. Yeah? Beyond it. I love you. Right? right? And if you don't do it for yourself, do it for your neighbour, do it for your children, do it for whatever. You're flown by hearing yeah. sorry, girl. <laughs> 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 <laughs>